Coast to Best reporting for Kids First, age 13, and today we are going to be looking at a TV series based on a popular series of Russian books by Kurbolichilov. I really hope that's how I pronounce your name. And it's called Elisa Knows What to Do, the first season. So this so this is a sci-fi series set in the year 2093. The story is a girl named Elisa and her group of friends, they go on adventures throughout uh, this galaxy. They go on different planets and they fight evil and try to protect the environment. So first things first, I want to talk about the main group of five. Now, I feel like Elisa takes center stage a lot of the time, which I get it. She's the main character and that's what main characters do. But I feel like they sort of push the others away sometimes. But luckily, though, the series does actually try to develop the characters, their personality, their relationships with each other, their strengths and weaknesses. They do actually try to expand on this, which is something I heavily appreciate. Like, I love it when series just try to make the characters better. In terms of personality, I feel like most of them are stereotypes. Like, you got a jock, a nerd, a girly girl who only cares about her looks, etc., etc. Now, as much as I disapprove of stereotypes, this is a better instance of it because, again, they actually do try to develop the characters, which can mean a lot in certain in story, in story writing. Now, to me, one of the most important aspects of any sci-fi series is what you do with the setting. Because you're in the future, there's probably going to be more better technology, more planets, more alien species, a lot of different stuff. And the setting you create can be just as impactful as the writing and the characters. So how does the series uh, do with, so what does the series do with the setting? Actually, it does a lot of things. The environments and like the planets they create, they're really cool. Like, I really love the way some of these planets are designed. Like they look amazing. And the alien species and everything, it looks really cool. And the main city and the city that our main characters live in, it's also really fascinating looking and like, the gadgets and like the designs of the character and the designs of the characters, they all look like they fit into a sci-fi story, which to me is very important. So bravo, Elisa knows what to do. That is one of your best strengths, honestly. Now, um, since I previously mentioned that this uh, series does deal with the environment a lot, this could be considered edutainment as, uh, you know, protection environment is very, uh, important and you know this is a kid's show so it does try to educate sometimes so I guess you could say that this is edutainment about environmental protection and this is probably one of the best instances of edutainment I've ever seen because the whole concept of, edu of edutainment does not get that good of a reputation but this is actually very good now I would I would credit some of the voice actors because the voice acting is actually really good but unfortunately I actually couldn't find most of them because not even joking, on IMED, only four of the voice actors are listed. And, like, on, like, only four of them. This is really rare for IMED, and it's really confusing. So I don't know if they just couldn't find them. I don't know what it was. But, yeah, maybe you should get that fixed. So I would give this series a 3 out of 5, and I would recommend this for ages 5 to 12. But I can also see some older people enjoying this, too, because actually it is pretty good. And the first season is already out on DVD. I'm not sure if there's going to be a season two, but I saw some mentions of a season two on IMD, so there probably already is. So maybe, so maybe they will make one. So that's going to be it for this review. Make sure to check out the Kids First website, and make sure to check out all the other film critics. And I will see you all later. Bye!